thank you so much for inviting me to speak today at this Connecting the Southeast event. And I am so sorry that I cannot be with you um, in person. Um, I'm probably currently giving evidence to a House of Lords Select Committee. You can understand why I would rather be, um, but needs must. So I'm with you on the screen when I would much rather be in front of you in real life. So the last two years have shown what we can achieve by local partners pulling together to keep our transport networks still running. We know that transport is such a huge catalyst for economic growth, connecting people with their jobs, attracting investment in regeneration, encouraging sustainable travel habits, and levelling up the very places that have been left behind for too long. And I would like to thank all of you for what you have done and you continue to do as we look to, to deliver um, on these priorities. Well, these priorities are understandably national in ambition. They must begin at the local level. And this means engaging with local stakeholders that know what the local connectivity demands are where investment is most needed and how to get the biggest bang for our buck. It's why we are working shoulder to shoulder with Transport for the South East and why we are giving it more funding to help it to grow and, and uh, look at other of, of the challenges that the government has. So Transport for the South East helps the region speak to the government with one voice. It presents compelling regional cases for investment and ensures transport projects benefit as many people in the southeast as possible and across all transport modes. A case in point is the Strategic Investment Plan. The region needs a long-term, multimodal plan which helps decarbonise the transport system, levels up left-behind communities and facilitates sustainable economic growth in the southeast and beyond. And this plan is an important blueprint for that future. But while the plan is being developed, we're already delivering transport priorities for the region. Take our major road network and large local majors programme. On the 3rd of June, we were able to announce the final approval of the funding for the Redbridge Causeway scheme in Hampshire. This is a vital link between the New Forest Waterside area and Southampton, and of course it needed urgent improvements uh, and maintenance. And I was also delighted to open, the, in real life, in person, the new Stubbington Bypass, an essential uh, link to unlock huge benefits in the Solent Enterprise Zone. We're also busy updating Gatwick Airport Station, doubling the space for passengers, making the journey from the train to the plane easier, improving accessibility and supporting a more reliable train service. So this upgrade will deliver significant benefits for millions of rail users, commuters and airport passengers when the work is complete next year. We've recently announced funding for bus service improvement plans and I'm so pleased that many areas in the South East received funding and we're providing £151 million in investment to the South East through the Leveling Up Fund and I would encourage you all to think about your bids for the round two of the Leveling Up Fund which will be uh, coming up later on this year. So I know that a key part of your strategic investment plan is focused on decarbonisation. It's absolutely vital that we stem the rise in emissions of which transport is sadly the biggest source. It's why the Transport Decarbonisation Plan, um, in that plan, my department outlined how we would put the sector on a path to net zero by 2050. We announced a zero emission vehicle mandate, which will ensure that a proportion of new cars and vans are zero emission from 2024. We're driving forward with investment in EV infrastructure, incredibly important, pledging at least 500 million pounds to support local charge point provision, and of course, earlier this year, we established Active Travel England as part of the £2 billion investment into walking and cycling. All of these steps um, are, 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 are good change and in the right direction. But as I said earlier, meaningful change must start at the local level. And it's why I look forward to working with you to delivering the ambitions in your strategic investment plan, including increasing public transport usage, encouraging new low emission forms of travel, such as electric bikes and e-scooters, and opening up spaces for active travel. 
So let me sum up. The government stands ready to support transport for the South East and local groups to deliver transformational change across the region's transport network. Together, I hope that we can realise the vision set out in your transport strategy in 2020, notably, and I quote, for the South East to be the world's leading region for sustainable economic growth. I really hope we can achieve that. So this is the challenge that Transport for the South East has set for the region and one that I look forward to working with you and everyone at Transport for the South East to, to meeting this goal. So thank you very, very much. And once again, my apologies that I'm not with you today.